Good day, human Latiosites. This is Latios Azuril, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Legends Arceus. Here we are at camp at the Obsidian Fieldlands. Hello. Nice to meet you, young Survey Corps recruit. I hear you have the rare ability to dash over hill and vale on the back of a Pokemon, yes? Well, why not try your hand at the balloon race? It's a game I invented myself. It's simple, really. You just need to burst as many of my adorable balloons as possible while riding a Pokemon. You manage to burst, say, 17 balloons? Well, that'd be an impressive start. You can find me here anytime, so let me know whenever you want to test your skill in the balloon race. Alright. You know what? Ride a Pokemon and smash through balloons. Ride, ride, and ride, and burst them all. If you manage to burst say 17, it'd be an impressive start. How about it? Want to play? Sure. There are a total of 30 balloons on the course. Let's see how many of them you can burst in 45 seconds. Now, get out there and get bursting. Okay. Um. Whoa. And they're moving, of course they're moving. Whoa, I'm about to die, alright. Oops. Here we go. Let's see. All right, we got 21 of them out of 30. That's not bad. <laughs> All right. Welcome back. You burst 21 balloons. Not bad. Not bad at all. For someone so skilled, I'll offer you this as a reward. We got two springy mushrooms. All right. Uh, what do you know? You beat my target of bursting at least 17. Well done, you. All right, so we got rare candy and a feather ball. 15 of them. Cool. You can take part in balloon races in other places as well. This race is the easiest of the lot. Let's see if you have what it takes to challenge them all and raise your skills to the next level. They were sent to storage since there's no room for them in the satchel. Wait a minute, there's storage? Wait a minute, this whole time we could have been... There's a storage? You gotta be kidding me. This whole time, I... I'm an idiot. Wow. Alright, well... Um... You know what, let's move this stuff to storage. We have two fire stones. Uh, what else can we move? Probably move some of these tumble stones. Uh, what else can we do? Do we have any apricorns? Spoiled apricorn? Let's see, ball of mud. Now let's move about all right good 
good to know. Okay. All right, in that case, we can use storage. That's very good to know. <laughs> All right. That being said, let's go head out. There is a wisp up there that we cannot get to. How do we get up here? Alright, clearly I am not able to get up there. I'm about to fall down, aren't I? Okay. Alright, weird here. Let's go. Oh. I am being attacked. All right. Well then. Looks like night is uh Do we catch the drift loon? Oh, we did. Cool. That's a cricket tot. Nope, it got away. It saw me. All right. Seriously? Why is aiming an issue? Why does the game not tell me that it can't aim far enough? Alright, let's break this thing. Alright, we got a tumblestone. All right, we're getting some orange berries. Nope, it's all it's okay. There we go. Sorry, this thing looks like a... That thing looks like a coughing. That can't be a coincidence. What? Why are you throwing- no. Go with the tree. Yeah, that is definitely an abra that- Seriously? I'm getting attacked from behind. Great.
Wait a minute. A burming attack? Okay. Let's do this. Might as well catch something new. And I broke out. Alright. Okay, cool. We got something new at least. My goodness, why am I not able to why does it not tell me that I'm not close enough to throw a that I'm not close enough to throw a ball? I've been spotted. Oh, great. No, I don't want to look at that. Oh. Oh, great. I'm about to fall to my doom, aren't I? Am I at a dead end? Let's just get out of here. No, I was going for the rock! Why does this happen? Alright, whatever. You know what? We probably need to catch more of these for research anyway, so... Whatever. All right, we're catching the Geo dude. Possibly, once it breaks out. All right, we got it. Yep. No, why does it? All right, let's go, weird here. Alright, the good thing about having Weird Gear is it does help us get out of a sticky situation when necessary. So, silver lining. And did we just get back to camp? Alright. We might as well rest a bit. I feel like we accomplished next to nothing, but... Fair enough. What did I do? I meant to press X, and I accidentally pressed Y. Because of course that happened. There's a Pokemon under there, clearly. Huh. 
All right, that was something that happened. And I'm trapped, okay. I don't feel like drowning. Okay. Is there anything other than Geodude here? No. I'm literally... Press ZL in order to aim at the rock? Whoa! I'm drowning. I died. Did I not black out? Okay, weird here. Time to be a little more careful. Somehow I didn't die from falling into the water. And I hate that it takes away some of your peripheral vision. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. There is a... Raveler that looks angry. Back to camp. <laughs> Alright. You know what, Professor? Here. I got free Pokemon to report. Here you go. Alright. We're not getting a whole lot of money, but it should be enough points to get us to the second rank. Alright. So we got Drift, uh, Drifloon, Geodude, and Fermi. So, Drifloon and Geodude, we got more information on, I guess. But, Burmy, we, uh, you know, got. Alright, so that is actually going to be enough, so that's going to bring us up to our second rank. Splendiferous results, I dare say. You've earned yourself a promotion to the next rank. Best report to Captain Silene, eh? I'd get right to on that if I were you. Alright, let's return to the village. Righto. Okay. Um, hello. Welcome back. You're gonna make a purchase after all. So, pineapple berry set. Um, I don't know. Are pineapple berries particularly helpful in this game? If you've got a wormple, you could give me. You want the Wurmple, so you want to keep it? Well... This one's physical, so maybe that one? I mean, what good is a physical? Where, oh, a physical dust ox or beautify gonna do? So they do have dust ox and beautify, so it's not like it's that that big a deal. Okay, you know what? Sure, you can have this one. Here you go. Are you sure you want to give up this Pokemon? Sure. You really brought me one. You must be as good as the rumors say. I'd like to name this Wurmple right away. Now I've been told Wurmple will evolve into a Pokemon known as beautify, so I should. Give it a, nick a name with that in mind. Hmm, this is a tough decision. Which of these do you like uh, best? Budisha, Beautifred, or Bugeen? I don't know. Uh, 
Um, does it really matter? Yeah, I like Beautifred too. I guess that's decided then. Sure. I'll raise Beautifred to be a Splendiferous Beautifly. Wait and see. Alright, so... We got some Dazzling Honey. My little buddy here will evolve into the best Beautifly you'll ever seen. You'll see. Alright, cool. Yes? Have you made any progress in your research tasks? If you have progress to report, I will judge it for your worthiness in your Pokedex. Alright. Hmm. You have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. Alright. So with that, we are at rank 2. With this, you have, you have officially attained the rank of second star in Galaxy Expedition Team. You can now use Feather Balls. Pokemon of up to level 30 will also obey your orders reliably in battle. The rewards you earn for your survey are reportedly more generous now, too. Have these as well. They are further recipes you'll need for crafting. So we got the recipe for Feather Balls. The recipe for crafting Feather Balls from scratch requires one Apricorn and one Sky Tumblestone. And we got a recipe for Super Potions. Continue to dedicate yourself to completing the Pokedex if you, uh, if you hope to rise higher in the ranks. At your current rank, you should be able to handle the Crimson Mirelands on your own. Here's what you need to know. About the uh, Salacian Ruins. That is where you'll find Ursa Luna's Warden. Ursa Luna, okay. I think it's the thing they were talking about. All right, I guess we want to head to the Crimson Mirelands. Please let me see Starly's entry in that Pokedex that, the moment you've completed it. All right, I guess we have to do more research on Starly. Okay. are. Oh, hello, Eric. I was just getting the itch to battle with you, and now here you are. It must be a sign. Um, I mean, I've got a mission. Even after all I did to hel um, help you acclimate? I think you owe me at least this much. Alright. Let's have a fine battle so I can go closer with Pikachu. Alright, so... Wait a minute. Okay, you're leaving off Mime Jr. You know what? That actually works out. We got Drifloon up front. Alright, Foon Balloon. Let's astonish. <laughs> One hit KO. Let's go! Alright, Pikachu's coming in. And goes for a Thundershock. Or Paralyzed. Seriously? You attack twice before I even have a chance to switch out? That's messed up. Alright, Shinx, you can bite it. Alright, there we go. Battle decided. Oops, I keep finding myself caught up in observing the way the Pokemon use their moves. And Drifloon doesn't even get any experience because, yeah. Pikachu may not be very happy with me after that. Thank you for battling me here. Have this new recipe. So, stealth sprays. Okay. So, I've been working on studying those strange space time distortions. Do you know the ones I mean? They've been appealing, uh, appearing here m m more and more lately. It seems like they hold wonderful items, but frightfully strong Pokemon, too. If you plan to go into one, be careful about it. 
Now time to head to the Meyerland camp. Uh, did she heal our Pokemon up? Oh, I think she did. Cool. Make sure to check out your party Pokemon are doing as well as often as they can. Alright. So I guess we want to head to the Crimson Mirelands. Maybe we'll get a different change, a nice little change of scenery, maybe. <laughs> well, it's a bit different. Here we are, my boy, the Crimson Mirelands, an area teeming with poison-wielding Pokémon, and plenty of others besides. I've heard about your mission, Eric. If you're looking for the Salacian Ruins, they're off that way. Okay. For now, I'll keep searching for those space-time distortions. There's little way of knowing when or where they might appear. But we'll do my- I'll do my best. It, w it sure would be handy if my map could tell me. Alright, so space-time distortions are dangerous places where powerful Pokemon appear. However, if you're brave enough to enter them, you might be able to find rare Pokemon and items. I'm counting on both of you to carry out your survey work as best you can. Be, but be mindful of your limitations as well, won't you? If wild Pokemon are giving you trouble, I suggest you go to the training grounds and have Captain Zizu teach your Pokemon some strong moves. Wait a minute, are we able to... Hold on, can we... Um... On how do we check our Pokemon? Ah, there we go. Oh, you can evolve Pokemon from here. Change moves. Oh, there we go. So we could teach. You don't have any moves to learn, though. So, and you can also nickname from here. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Fair enough. Report survey results to professor. Oh, is this, for, is this a dead end? We went ahead this way. Alright, so far I'm not seeing a whole lot of Pokemon. And I just realized I just got into a battle not trying to catch something. Oops! My bad. Alright. I still legitimately think they should have done ZR to switch between a Pokemon and a and throwing a ball and X to actually throw the ball. That would have been I feel like that would have been more intuitive. 
Are you kidding me? That Psyduck seems pretty intent on killing me. Bubble should not do that much damage. Alright, we obviously need a lot of experience. But with that, we are catching Psyduck. That's a carnivine. How did it see us from all the way over here? All right. That's confusion. We resist that, but. Alright, let's astonish then. Critical hit, but hacks doesn't seem to be a thing against wild Pokemon. Alright, let's draw a Pokeball. It broke alright, so it's gonna kill Drifloon. Um it's paralyzed, which means we're not gonna be able to. You're probably- alright. So... I'll be surprised if it doesn't actually K of a Drifloon. Ruin Rage, so you're gonna attack again, aren't you? Absorb, that'll kill. Like I said. All right, we're going to Starly. On the bright side, if the Pokedex is requiring us to watch these moves like Absorb or something, at least we're getting data. All right, perfect. All right, so we caught Carnivine. What am I doing? Um, dodging is everything. Everything when a wild Pokemon lashes out at you with moves, dodging right out of the way where you're dodging, their moves will whiz right by and not hit you. What is... So these are the ruins, I guess? Um, hello. I'm Kalaba of the Pearl Clan. Warden Kalaba to you. Oh, now will you look at that? You have this elastic flute. You must be the one they say fell out of the, the space-time rift. I guess. Why the vague response? Hmm? Something to hide? I've already heard about you, that you put out Cleaver in his frenzy. I'm sure many people were saved by your actions, but I wonder if there wasn't some other way to handle the situation. What you did is hardly different from bullying a Pokemon in a submission, after all, and you run about catching Pokemon up in those little balls you carry. I don't need any help from your sort, or the Diamond Clan for that matter. That young lady, Arizu, offered to help, but associating the Diamond Clan, it just won't do. Be on your way. There is much I must do, and I prefer not to be distracted any further. Ah, Eric! How about you show me the strength that could quell even a frenzied lord? Um, okay. 
a battle with you might let me experience even a fraction of the power the nobles wield. Great. As long as you're willing to heal my Pokemon, sure. So, Ginkgo Guild Member Volo. Got a Togepi. Alright, let's Thunder Fang. Oh my goodness, why does that do so much damage? Why does that do so much damage? And then, like, practically fully heal it. Alright, we got a crit. We got a crit. But wow, that toad could be hit like a truck. Alright, bring in Gibble. Okay, we gotta get out of here. Alright, doesn't matter. She's gonna, that's gonna kill. Alright. I don't like that you don't get experience till the end of the battle. Alright, well, you know, maybe I should have gone Drifloon. Probably should have gone Drifloon for this. As long as we take a Bulldoze. Barely. But, hey. Alright, we're taking down the Gibble. Battle decided. Oh my, you're quite adept at instructing your Pokemon in battle. My goodness, that was fun. Alright. Getting some experience. Such prodigious strength. Now let me just heal up your Pokemon. Ah, oh, thank you. Well now, I think that settles it. I must ask your help in retrieving the stolen wall fragment. With your skill, it should be a cinch. Wall fragment. Yes, exactly. Some bandits pillaged the Silesian ruins and made off with a fragment of the wall engravings. Have you not heard of the notorious misfortunes? There are a trio of bandits that have even hit us Ginkgo Guild members, no merchants, more than a few times. Not the kind of regulars I like to have, let me tell you. Mistress Kalaba is doing everything she can to regain the fragment, but a 99-year-old, 99-year-old, it's a bit hard for her to chase leads all over the place. So what do you say, Khan, sir? Why not help find the fragment um, for the warden? Oh, naturally. I'll be happy to lend you a hand. Those sisters swipe my wares too, and I'm no ginkgo guild mer merchant if I, if I take that lying down. And far be it for me to let them just get away with vandalizing the precious ruins of his region. You know, I did see the remains of a campfire near the Meyerlands camp. Perhaps worth checking out? So, it's appears to be a letter-like marking engraved in the stone surface. Be on your way. There's much I must do and prefer not to be distracted any further. Well, I guess we want to get out and then go that way. Alright. We're heading back toward camp. Oh, it got late. Oh, that's a way to fall to our doom. Alright, we've been made. We've been made. So they're too ghastly here. 
seriously? Before I even have a chance to do anything, you're gonna kill Shanks? Come on! You're on Starly, actually. Alright, so... Here we go. Alright, we got the one Ghastly. X, okay. Here we go. And... Cool. Alright, we caught two Ghastly. Alright, let's get back to camp. I want to heal up. Oh, I could use some rest. Alright. Alright, what way do we want to go? Oh, we want to go. I'm an idiot. We want to go this way. But I was going the right way, just... I can't see where I'm going because it's so dark and foggy. We've been spotted. Wait a minute, there's a wisp. Whoa. Hello there, Pikachu. You can't paralyze. Wait a minute, there's a ghastly here? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, let's fight. That killed. Of course we critted it. Ah. Uh. Okay, I'm just gonna throw the Pokeball then. I don't like that when you have two Pokemon in a battle that you can't control which one you're attacking. Otherwise I would have gotten rid of the Ghastly to try to catch the Pikachu. What is here? It's a burned out campfire. Somebody must have been here. Now who might you be? Not some stray traveler from the look of you. There's only one reason people go poking around out here in the middle of nowhere. You're after us three, aren't you? Sisters, we should introduce ourselves properly before we show this poor fool how wrong he, is, he was to assume he could beat us. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go, and I and, and ill luck to anyone who crosses our paths. I'm the eldest, and I'll be your unlucky charm. I thought you spotted a four-leaf clover. Well, I'll soon have you seeing double. I'm the middle, sister, and I'm one clover you can't pick. Heads I win, tails you lose. You've got no chance in this game of fortunes. I'm the youngest I'm the youngest coin, but I'm definitely not your good luck piece. We're the infamous bandit trio, the misfortune sisters, and your luck's just run out. Let me handle the sisters. I'll only hurt him a little. Come on, Toxic Croak, let's douse this fool in poison. Oh, great. 
great. Pop the croak. Oh, great. Oh, the... oh, they didn't heal us, so yeah, that sucks. I mean, the silver lining is, I like that, you know, at least we, we, it's more predictable as to when you attack. Alright, let's confusion. Avoided? What? Confusion doesn't have bad accuracy. Alright. Are you kidding me? Drifloon, do you need glasses? Do you actually need glasses? Or is it, maybe it's because of the weather? Or is it just because it's foggy? Alright, well, the Toxic Rope painted. I'm not fond of this outcome, but at least it's still better than plowing fields with a galaxy team. Oh, that's funny, because you look like Jupiter, who works for the for Team Galactic. <laughs> the galaxy team continues to spoil things for me, even after I've left. Take the blast of Fragment and go, just to leave us alone. Alright, so we only need to do the one battle. We got the wall fragment. Alright, cool. The weird writing on the on, on it made us think this stupid thing was kind of some kind of treasure, but it turned out to be worthless, worthless, a worthless slab of junk. All that effort for nothing. Tell me, why were you even seeking it out? What set you on this path? Goodness, how selfless of you to go so far out of your way for the sake of another. Not all of us have the luxury of offering such unthinking kindness to strangers. For some of us, simply surviving another day takes all that we have. And I've got a score to settle with that galaxy team, which now includes you. Remember what those ancient verses tell us. Why is it, in days of spring, beneath the soft caress of the sun, the blossoms tremble and fall, spirits lash by uncertainty? Your days are also numbered, galaxy fool. Great. Okay. I know that the one the, the one task we had to do was to find uh, wood to make a Pokeshi doll. How do we find wood? Also, how do we get over there where that wisp is? Are there just no Pokemon here? Oh, we can't take this item because there's no room. Great. Parasect. 
are probably gonna end up actually this might kill it never mind we're gonna miss and it's gonna land a pit because that's always what happens when I'm when I'm involved in something yeah oh my goodness this is actually stupid Oh, it lived. And that was a crit. Alright, let's throw up Opa Ball. And cool. Alright, so we got Parasect. Alright. Okay, I think night is breaking. Alright, let's see if we catch that thing. I'm guessing it broke out. I wasn't gonna just sit around and wait for it to attack me. Alright, let's see. Did you catch the Pikachu? Alright. As I said, not gonna just sit around and wait for it to attack. Under shock, that's gonna kill Weasel. 100%. Alright. Oh, I just realized we have a huge electric weakness on this team. Oh my goodness. Alright. Yeah, I think we need to we need to rethink the uh, team here. Alright, we did catch the Pikachu though. Alright, let's get back to camp to heal up. I could certainly use some rest. Alright, that being said... Uh... I guess we do need to head back to the Salacian Ruins so we can, I guess, deliver that, uh, that wall fragment that we, uh, that we've recovered. Um, so on that note, thank you for watching, as always. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time we continue exploring these, uh, this bogged down area here in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Goodbye.